Good afternoon, everyone. Beautiful afternoon. Here's a question. Is Wayne Rooney's England career about to come to an end? He's been left out of the latest squad. Gareth Southgate has said other players deserve their place ahead of him. Well, Manchester City have confirmed two of their Premier League title winners are leaving this summer. We're live to Leeds as well, following the shock resignation of Gary Monk. He swapped the intense look, I think you'll agree. Kel Brook and Errol Spence Jr. have gone face to face just two days before their world title fight. Well, they also had some words for each other. Take a listen to this. And it's not just about Brook and Spence on Saturday night. The men in their corners will have a say as well. And when the coaches got on the mic today, things got a little bit more heated. Maybe a bit uh, tongue-in-cheek from Dominic Ingle just there, but George Groves definitely isn't messing around. He'll get his fourth crack at a world title against Fedor Chudinov. Bit of breaking news for you. It comes out of Manchester City and uh, certainly it's all change at this football club because the goalkeeper, Vili Caballero, is leaving Manchester City. He's a cult hero because he's fondly remembered for his penalty shootout heroics in the 2016 League Cup final in which he denied three Liverpool mm. players from 12 yards. That's bound to give you uh, cult status, you it have is. to think, yeah. at the football club. So, Willy Caballero, now out of Manchester City, he will go when his contract is up, I think, at the end of June. And now that only leaves Joe Hart, who's out to leave. And we're just hearing uh, some news regards Manchester United and some possible transfers. Sources telling us they're planning to sign a central defender this summer. Three options, apparently. They're pursuing former defender uh, Michael Keane, Southampton's Virgil van Dijk and Benfica's Victor Lindelof. Hi there, it's all happening. Welcome along News HQ at 5 with Kirsty and myself. Coming up, we're going to hear from Chris Coleman. Uh, after he was linked with a return, of course, to Crystal Palace. Good evening to you. There's also transfer news from Manchester City. We're also going to look ahead to the richest game in world football. And it's just over. Been a busy afternoon with comings and goings. Manchester City have confirmed to us that Jesus Navas is to leave the club in the summer. The winger is about to go out of contract. It will not be renewed. Now it ends his four-year stay at the football club. The short and all of it is this. Leeds are looking for a new manager tonight, as are Crystal Palace, following the surprise resignation of Sam Allardyce. Well, Wales boss Chris Coleman spent four years at the club as a player in the 1990s and has been linked with the vacant manager's role now. Manchester United and Manchester City have together pledged a million pounds to the We Love Manchester Emergency Fund in the wake of Monday's terror attack. The club's... Have now next, we are live to beautiful, sunny Monaco to tell you why Lewis... Security at sporting events has come under huge scrutiny following Monday's terror attack in Manchester. We're joined now by our reporter. Good evening to Carby. Wembley will be, of course, the centre of attention this weekend uh, for the FA Cup final on Saturday. What have the Met Police, Carby, said? ...sense. Arrive early, no bags. Of course, it's such a busy weekend, uh, Carby, as you know, another huge event this weekend. Uh, is Kell Brook's world title fight, and that's up in Sheffield, and we've been going there live throughout the day, yesterday and today, of course. The build-up continues to that. What are the police doing right now to make sure that that passes up? Yeah, and it's also, of course, a big few weeks for cricket, isn't it, Carve? Uh, England playing South Africa twice over the bank holiday weekend. The Champions Trophy starting as well next week, so lots going on. Oh. Thank you very much. Let's get to the Monaco Grand Prix. Now, the first two practice sessions took place today. Hamilton was just eighth fastest in second practice. Now, that was a surprise. Sebastian Vettel set the quickest time. I heard of Daniel Ricciardo and Kimi Raikkonen in third. So there's just over 48 hours to go until Cal Brook defends his world title against Errol Spence Jr. in front of 27,000 fans at Bramall Lane. It's live on Sky Sports box office and it will be Brook's first fight since losing the world middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin. And with concerns over Brook making the £147 weight limit tomorrow, he's revealed that his team did try and convince him to vacate his welterweight title before he agreed to fight Spence Jr. A warning, there is some flash photography coming up. The pair... Well, Chrissy, the, the list gets longer, doesn't it? Because uh, another player out of Manchester City this afternoon is uh, the defender, Bakary Sanya, ex-Arsenal, of course. And now Sanya follows in the footsteps who we had Clichy. Uh, and in the last hour, uh, Willy Caballero, the goalkeeper. Jesus he, Navas as and well. And Jesus Navas Early as well. On, Caballero yeah. will go at the end of next month. But Sanya will also leave uh, the football club in the summer as well. And I just wonder, all these decisions seem to be made at the moment. 
because at the end of the season, Pep Guardiola flew out to Abu Dhabi to meet the owners. And it just mm. seems that it's a stream of players now who are leaving this football club and the latest being back at Sanya. Just a couple of quotes from Sanya reflecting on his time at the Etihad. He was there since 2014, I believe. Uh, he said, uh, it's been a privilege to play for this football club. I've enjoyed every moment of my City career. I will look back uh, on my time at City fondly. Just says I would like to thank the staff, players and fans for making my three years so memorable. So Sanya adding to Caballero, Clichy and Navas as the players to leave City uh, this season. Quite a procession, isn't it? Quite a production line as they are out of there. Interesting, various ways to actually exit a club, aren't there? Watford forward Mbai Nyang has texted the club's owner, Gino Pozzo, asking to leave Vicarage Road. Nyang joined Watford on... Let's get a bit more now from Chris Coleman. He has called up 16-year-old Exeter defender Ethan Ampadu for Wales World Cup qualifier against Serbia next month. Well, Liverpool youngsters Harry Wilson and Ben Woodburn have also been included in a 26-man squad. You are going to love this. Stand uh, by for pictures of Jurgen Klopp as this. you have never seen him before. They're coming up very soon, believe me. You do not want to miss this. Yeah, Klopp's been in Australia this week, but he's already thinking about his summer signings. The Liverpool manager wants to bring in new recruits as soon as possible. So Jurgen and his Liverpool squad are out in Australia on their end-of-season tour and the Liverpool boss has been trying his hand at a few <laughs> Aboriginal traditions. Vegetarian. That is just ah. brilliant, isn't it? That's even a nutshell. Oh, brilliant. And his, uh, his boomerang didn't come back. No, it didn't. Uh, that's didn't come probably back. safer, I'd say. Uh, so what will Klopp, though, get up to in Hong Kong? Uh, he's going to be there in July as Liverpool to take part in the Premier League Asia Trophy this summer live on Sky Sports. Norwich have appointed Daniel Farker as their new head coach. Farker succeeds Alex Neal at Carrow Road, having spent the last two years as Borussia Dortmund reserve team coach. So what style of football can Norwich fans then expect next season? Good evening, everyone. Rooney has been left out of the latest England squad. We expected that. And this time, Gareth Southgate has now confirmed it's form and not fitness that is the issue here. We'll reveal who's been picked to face Scotland and France. Yes, Rooney may be on his way out at Old Trafford, but who could be coming in? We'll reveal the three players who Jose Mourinho wants to sign this summer. We start with a very significant day for the future of Wayne Rooney. The striker has been left out of the latest England squad and has now hinted he is ready to leave Manchester United in search of regular football. What's more, he's given a clear indication he would welcome a return to Everton. Rooney's future at Old Trafford has become increasingly uncertain after he lost his regular place in the team. He admits he's... And this is what Southgate's had to say about Rooney. He said, we have a lot of players playing exceptionally well in the area of the pitch that Wayne Rooney plays. I can't dress it up any other way, he says. Other players are in really good form. They deserve to keep their place. For the first time, he joins fellow teammate and right-back Carl Walker in the 25-man squad defence. Uh, Burnley's Michael Keane misses out, though, through injury. While there are places for Aaron Creswell and the uncapped Ben Gibson as well. Jake Livermore is one of seven midfielders in the squad. He's joined by Tottenham pair of Deli Alley and Eric Dyer. There's no Ross Barkley because of injury. Then up front, this season's Premier League Golden Boot winner Harry Kane's included, alongside Jermaine Defoe, Marcus Rashford and Jamie Vardy. Well, Kieran... So there's just over 48 hours to go until Kel Brook defends his world title against Errol Spence Jr. in front of 27,000 fans at Bramall Lane. It's live on Sky Sports box office and it will be Brook's first fight since losing the world middleweight champion Gennady Golovkin. And with concerns over Brook making the £147 weight limit tomorrow, he's revealed his team did try and convince him to vacate his welterweight title before he agreed to fight Spence. A warning, there is some flash photography coming up. Well, the pair. Now this is going to be good. Two of the biggest rivals in Super League, St Helens and Wigan, go head to head this evening live on Sky Sports One. And let's get the latest now ahead of kickoff with Brian Carney. Good evening, Brian. Yes. 38 degrees. I'm going to check that. 38 <laughs> degrees in St Helens. Just let's have a look. Yeah. It is as well. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. No, no, no. Hello, Brian. Way off. <laughs> Stand by for pictures of Jurgen Klopp as you've never seen him before. They're coming up very soon and they are worth waiting oh, for. Yeah, they really are. Klopp's been in Australia this week, but he's already thinking about this summer's signings. The Liverpool manager wants to bring in new recruits as soon as possible.
I wish. <laughs> Madman, isn't he? That's why we love the guy, isn't well, it? It is, absolutely. Well, what's he going to get up to in Hong Kong, though? That's the question. He's going to be there in July as Liverpool take part in the Premier League Asia Trophy this summer. It's live on Sky Sports. Norwich have appointed Daniel Farker as their new head coach. Farker succeeds Alex Neil at Carroll Road, having spent the last two years as Borussia Dortmund reserve team coach. So what style of football can Norwich fans expect next season? And Stokes will be further assessed later this evening after hurting his left knee during last night's first one-day international. So Boris Becker believes Andre Agassi will form a successful partnership with Novak Djokovic. The world number two has appointed the American as his new coach, initially for the French Open, which starts Sunday. OK, all the top stories of the day coming up for you, including what is next for Wayne Rooney. What does the future hold as he is left out of the latest England squad by Gareth Southgate? And we're going to hear from his former manager.